The COVID pandemic was a pushback to the entire world. Billions of people confined to their homes for their safety allowed new opportunities and new limitations to get identified. One of those global limitations, or perhaps we can say an overwhelming demand, was for semiconductor chips. These microprocessor chips are everywhere. They're in cars, in phones, and in every aspect of our life we can imagine. The problem here is that only a single company based in Taiwan manufactures the most advanced chips that fuel humanity in today's era. Hello, and welcome to Businessville. Today we're talking about big news in the chip industry, with TSMC's new factory opening up in Arizona, USA, with a revised investment of $40 billion. This is a huge development for this sector, and could have major implications for how things are produced, distributed, and ultimately consumed around the US and the world. Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, or in short, TSMC, is currently the only company in the world that manufactures the most advanced chips. Companies AMD, Samsung, and Intel are dependent on TSMC for their microprocessor chips. TSMC makes more than 90% of the most sophisticated and smallest chips. So it's a clear indicator that the world's dependency for its chip supplies relies on TSMC. The first thing to consider about TSMC's move into the US is what it means for the current state of affairs in terms of chip supply and demand. The global semiconductor market has been facing shortages due to increasing demand from consumer electronics and other sectors, while production capacity hasn't kept pace. With more production capabilities coming online domestically in the US, that should help stabilize supply and improve pricing options for consumers. The US government announced a total of $53 billion in subsidies to companies manufacturing chips on US soil. This was aimed at curbing the chip shortage and increasing domestic production. TSMC's new foundry in Arizona is a byproduct of that decision. As for the impact on the global market, it's less clear-cut. Many argue that it may cause prices to drop due to increased competition from local production, but there's also the chance that it could lead to increased production costs and higher prices. Only time will tell. But what's certain is that this move by TSMC has changed the landscape of the chip industry, and we can expect new opportunities, innovations, and even more competition. With some tensions escalating between Taiwan and then China on top of that, a US senator visiting Taiwan, even after China's warning, was a bold move to consider. America is doing its best to suppress China in order to advance its chip manufacturing and also even limit the supply of chips to them. This thing is so important for the US that they have suppressed or, we can say, banned the sales of EUV machines from advanced semiconductor materials lithography, or ASML, to China. Another big benefit brought by the new factory is jobs. The construction of the facility and its operation will bring hundreds, if not thousands, of jobs to the local community. Not only will this help economically, but it could also help create an industry hub in the US for chip production allowing the country to become more competitive with other nations that are already leading chip makers. Similar to TSMC, Intel and Samsung are both planning to open up new chip manufacturing plants in the US. This influx of investment into the industry has certainly welcomed the news as it will bring more jobs and increase competition within the sector. If TSMC starts manufacturing advanced semiconductor chips on US soil, then the chip supply chain will become more secure as well as Intel, Samsung, and others investing in the US. So this should bring stability to the global chip economy, and with that, healthy competition in terms of pricing and availability, something every consumer would welcome. It'll also maintain a geopolitical advantage for the US in terms of chip production and technology sharing. The TSMC's move towards the US could prove to be a game-changer for chip production and create an entirely new ecosystem for the economy security, pricing, and other aspects related to semiconductor chips. Keep watching this space for further developments. Finally, TSMC's US-based operations could open up a whole new world of opportunities for collaboration between companies. For example, Apple recently announced that it would be working with TSMC on its own of 14 chips, something that would have been much more difficult without a domestic presence from the company. 
This type of partnership could unlock even more innovation and growth for the industry as a whole. So in conclusion, TSMC's new US factory is a very exciting development for the chip industry and could lead to a number of positive outcomes. From improving the supply-demand balance to creating jobs and forging partnerships, this could be a real game-changer. Let's keep our eyes open as things move ahead. Thank you for sticking with us till the end. We'll be back with more great videos. Take care.